Vegas casinos keep changing things up. They change their names all the time. The latest looks to be the Link becoming the Link Hotel and Experience. And a question I asked over on our Facebook group, the Not Leaving Las Vegas Facebook group, which you should totally join because we're totally awesome and we talk about all sorts of fun stuff, is why? What benefit do you have? Now, by the way, my name's Steve and I'm Not Leaving Las Vegas. I do these types of videos where we fire up a discussion. We also talk about different things and do mini documentaries on all the casinos and properties, awesome travel video blogs that I try to bring you the best type of closest to broadcast quality I can get highly produced so I hope you would like share subscribe this channel hit the bell for notifications and then comment below if you're not going to be on Facebook comment here tell us why what benefit do you have to change things now these hotels if I ever had the ear of an executive I'd ask them why are you doing this what's the benefit for you this is like that person that you knew in high school that always seemed to change as the new kind of thing came popular I'm a kid of the 90s so go ahead and bear with me here it's like that person you knew in high school and one minute they liked goth music and they dressed like a goth and the next minute it was alternative and then it was pop and then it was country western but you never knew what they were going to go with because they were constantly reinventing themselves which is a good and a bad thing. You have to find a true identity for who you really are inside. And so maybe these hotels are just doing just that. So we're going to talk about the link right now. I will go through there and do an entire documentary type thing on it. We'll hopefully see the rooms and talk about the history of the property. But it's, it's held many different titles and many different names throughout the years. At one point, it was the uh, Flamingo Grand, as far as I can tell, in the 1950s and 60s. It was then the Imperial Palace. That's where they filmed that scene in Austin Powers when they were in the hot tub, making all the those kind of adult lewd jokes. I'll let you guys look that up. Just look up Austin Powers hot tub scene from the first movie. It's real fun, but it's not exactly safe for this channel. And then it was the quad and the quad makes sense because at this point they were changing things over to a central gathering point with the high roller in the back, the Brooklyn Bowl, all the restaurants in there. And a quad was like a generalized meeting place where people would go and hang out and have a blast. And then it was changed to the link. And the link made sense too because you're linking several hotels that are the same company together. You had Harrah's on the north end. You had the link right on the south of the Harrah's. Then you had the Flamingo and you had also the Cromwell. Those are all owned by Caesars Entertainment, soon to be El Dorado Resorts. That made sense too. And now we're changing it over to the link hotel and experience. And I wonder what experience they're really putting forth to have at the link. Maybe it's just an entertainment experience where you're going to go and enjoy the promenade and spend money on the shops and do all the little activities down there. And there's some high-end shopping at the promenade, mind you. There's a Razor store that sells my dream computer, for example, the laptop that I always wanted for video production. And you also have stuff like Gordon Ramsay with a fish and chips place and the Brooklyn Bowl and the High Roller and the, the only in and out burger on the entire strip. So there's reasons to go there. Is that the experience they're looking for? Because as I've said time and time again on this channel, Vegas is going to become a place for unique experiences. If they don't do this, they're not going to stay competitive anywhere in the industry for travel. Time was you came to Vegas with a gambling budget and you stayed in a room and they treated you real good and then you might have seen a show and eaten a buffet dinner for 99 cents and then you left. But now it's more competitive. The internet's leveraged the ability for people to see all sorts of far-flung destinations around the world. People want to have the experience. They want to do the thing, the one thing. Whether your one thing is that you're a Philadelphia Flyers fan and you come here from Philly to watch your team play and it's your first time in Vegas, so might as well go see hockey in Vegas or you're a Raiders fan and you're coming in to watch the Patriots from Massachusetts or whether or not you're coming out here to see any of the headliners. And there's so many headliners in Vegas nowadays. I mean, what do you got? Bruno Mars, Gwen Stefani, Cher, uh, Lady Gaga, Aerosmith, um, Celine Dion, Shania Twain, Brooks and Dunn, Reba Brooks and Dunn, Journey. All these are experiences to come out and have a good time. I don't know what kind of experience they're looking for. I remember when the link was the Imperial Palace. And when it was the Imperial Palace, you had that little leprechaun guy that I'm sure you can't even put out in the front of the strip now without causing a big commotion with this culture that we're in. But he was he was screaming about beer pong and he was yelling, he had a baritone voice. This guy was awesome. Uh, I think his name was Lucky, the leprechaun. And he would talk about Irish blank blanks. I can't say the name of the drink because of YouTube monetization reasons. If you know the name of the Irish blank blank drink, just post it in the comments below for us um, but that was an experience but now we're on to bigger broader more entertainment based ones so maybe they're just doing this so they could have a bit of a more you know 
uh, social media presence. Maybe they want to show all the experiences and this is part of a bigger overall broad marketing campaign, but I'm not really sure. All I know is that the link is in the center of the strip. It's a place where people go when they want to go to the um, high roller. It's a place where people go when they want to enjoy their, their time in Las Vegas, but it's also a place with a history of name changes. That's for certain. Whether or not those name changes are good or bad, you're going to tell me in the comments below. If there's a reason that they're doing this, you're going to tell me there too. If you go on to Facebook, type in Not Leaving Las Vegas group, you'll find us there and we'd be happy to have you guys come in and chat about this kind of stuff with us there too, where it's a more social environment and we can already see that we have a good little community being built there. So thank you guys for watching. Once again, I'm Not Leaving Las Vegas. My name is Steven. Like, share, comment on this video, hit the bell for all notifications after you've subscribed and I'd be curious to hear your take on why there's so many ch ch, -ch changes in Vegas. It's almost like a David Bowie song. Or again, that kid in high school. And uh, that kid in high school, you never knew who they were going to be next. And you never know who Vegas is going to be next. But usually it's for the better. We'll talk to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.